In the Texas BA2 Plus Financial Calculator, you can calculate the internal rate of return or IRR using the time value of money or TVM built-in function or you can use the cash flow worksheet but this is assuming that you have even cash flows only. Now let's take a look at an example of a cash flow for a project of 5 years. So at time 0, there is a cash outlay of $2 million and then for the next 5 years, there is an annual cash flow of $300,000 per year and in the terminal year, which is year 5, there is a one-off cash inflow of $4 million. Now I'm going to compute the IRR using the time value of money built-in function in the calculator. So we will first clear the worksheet, or press second FV, just to clear the inputs in these five buttons. Then I'll proceed to enter the inputs. So the $2 million here will be an outflow. So that will be PV, which is present value. So I'll just type 2 million, then press a negative sign and then click on PV. So that will save the numbering. And then the 300,000 here is an annuity. So I will enter 300,000 and press PMT. And N is equals to 5 for 5 years, okay, and also 5 times of 300,000. Now, uh, make sure that you are using the END mode or the ordinary annuity mode. So to check that, you can press second and PMT. Make sure that it is set to END, okay, and not set to BGN. If it's BGN, then you will see BGN at the top right-hand corner of the calculator screen. Now, I'll change this back to END, and then to just exit the screen. Now, uh, the last input will be the future value of $4 million. So that's $4 million. And then I'll click FV, future value. So with that, uh, we have everything in. So now I just need to compute the IY, which is our internal rate of return. This is the interest rate or the discount rate that will equate the present value of the future cash flows to the initial outlay. So that's 26.77%. So we, this is the project's uh, internal rate of return or the assets internal rate of return. Next, we are going to compute the IRR using the cash flow worksheet and the IRR function in the calculator with the same series of cash flows. Now we'll start by entering the cash flow. So I will click on CF, which is a cash flow worksheet. I'll press second CEC to clear the worksheet. Then we'll enter the initial cash flow, which is $2 million with a negative and then enter and then scroll down to CO1, so that's 300,000. Okay, and since the cash flows are repeating, we can actually use the F01, which is the frequency for the first cash flow. So here, the 300,000 actually repeats itself four times. That tells us that for the first four years, there will be a series of cash flows of $300,000 per year. And then C02 will then be the cash flow for the fifth year. So for the fifth year, the cash flow is 4 million plus 300,000. So that's 4 million 300,000. So click enter there. Now most students or candidates will make mistakes. What, and what they'll do is they will enter five as F01. So if you enter five here, okay, let's just say I have, if I enter five here and then I enter 4 million here. So what that will tell the calculator is that for the first five years, the cash flow will be $300,000 per year and then in year 6, the cash flow will be $4 million. So that's what the calculator will interpret it as, which is why you have to be very careful when you are using the cash flow worksheet so that you know what cash flows to input. So anyway, just to change this back, so this will be uh, 4, okay, and this will be 4.3 million. Okay, make sure this is 1 and there's no other cash flow after that. So we are done, we can just press IRR and just click compute, you will get 26.77%, which is the same result that we obtained when we press compute IY earlier. So when I press compute IY, I obtain the same result, 26.77%. So that's the internal rate of return of these cash flows. Now in the last part, I'm going to compute the IRR using Microsoft Excel, just to reconcile with the results that we have obtained from the financial calculator. So here I have quickly prepared the cash flow in the spreadsheet. So the cash flows are as what we have seen earlier, except for year five, I have added the terminal cash flow of 4 million to the annuity of 300,000. So to find the IRR, we can simply use the IR function in Excel. And then we just highlight the cash flows and we'll get 
27%. Of course, if I increase the decimal place, I'll get 26.77%, which is the same as the result that we have obtained earlier. Okay, if you want to double check, you can actually expand to get more decimal places. Okay, so that's uh, tells us that the answer that we get here is the same as what we got from the financial calculator.